pulling a thread through your nasal cavity, magically levitating up to your hand. And it looks like the sword is going right through her neck. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on the candy. No! It's weird. No! What's good? Welcome back to a special Halloween edition of How to Magic. Oh, oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 magic pranks for Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. If you are new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and learn new magic tricks and pranks every single week. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button and let's go. Really crazy trick that you can do with a piece of thread. So check this out. I have a piece of thread. I'm going to raise my glasses for this. And it's gonna go right here. Look, you can actually get the thread. Oh, it's coming out my eye. Oh, oh look. If I pull, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, look, it's almost all the way through. Ah, oh. magic. Here is the secret to pulling a thread through your nasal cavity. Ah! All you need is one single piece of thread. There's nothing special about the yarn. You're also going to need two rings, one ring on your thumb and one ring on your forefinger. This is what the audience doesn't see. The string is actually concealed behind my hand. The two rings provide kind of like a pulley system for the yarn to run right behind your hand, completely hidden from the audience's view. So as you pull one side, the other side retracts just like that. You can do this in opposite directions, keep pulling, and it looks like you pull the thread all the way through your nose and out your eye socket. So you position this finger hiding that string right on the bridge of your nose so it looks like it's coming out of your eye. The thumb holds the other end of the string right at the base of the nostril. So now we angle the hand a bit to hide the string and all we have to do is pull. In the bag print. So this is actually all just a bit of acting. You have a broom with a short handle hidden inside a trash bag. So take a short handled broom and you're gonna put it down inside a bag just like this and then hold the handle on the end while you pinch the top of the bag. So it looks like you're just holding a trash bag at the top, but you're actually controlling the movement with your hand. So just thrash this around back and forth and it really looks like you have some kind of creature like a bat that's trapped in the bag. Oh. Hey, I'm so sorry I'm out of candy, but I've got a book. I can read you some from this book. That'd be a treat, right? Trust me, this is better than candy. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Here is the secret to the magic flaming book trick. If you open up the book, it has a secret apparatus hidden inside. We have these available now for you at evaneratv.com. The link for that is in the description of the video if you want to get a magic fire book. So you put a little bit lighter fluid right here. And this is a completely electronic system. All you have to do is press this button and the book will magically burst into flame. Then to put it out, all you have to do is close the cover. Because of the design of the metal plate here on the front cover of the book, the flame is completely contained in this little box right here. So despite the illusion looking very dangerous, it's actually very safe. When the button is pressed, there's a little electronic coil that lights up and it glows red and that is what ignites the flame. So that is what makes this completely under your control. This front cover is just something I printed out and glued onto the book. You can put any title you want on here or you can just make it a plain black book which is how it comes. So you're going to present this from the front. Have the back of the book facing 
facing the audience. Then open the front flap of the book like this and press the button at the exact same time. Now you want to keep it kind of level like this. You don't want to tilt it up too much because then you'll burn the top edge of the book. So you can let this burn as long as you want and then close the book to extinguish the flame. And we all know the science behind that. As soon as the flap of the book closes, the flame no longer has any oxygen, so it immediately dies. This will last for thousands of performances. Your only reset is putting more lighter fluid on the lamp wick, and then you're good to go for another performance. You just have to make sure you have fresh batteries in here, and you just press the button. Super professional equipment here. The construction is unmatched in this quality. We have Magic Fire books available now at EvanEraTV.com. Get yours today before they sell out. Okay, so I have kind of a weird thing to show you. There's been like some creepy like spirit activity in the house. In the every, house? Every time I take a picture, like it's, it's weird. Here, I'm gonna take your picture. I'm just gonna show you what I mean. I think it's, yeah, it's because it's like around Halloween time. So look, just smile for the photo. Like three, for a spirit. two, what? Yeah, just smile for the photo. Okay. So, all right, cool, I took your picture. So look, it's weird. Cause like, I can't see it like in real time, but every time I take a photo, it's like, it shows up. <laughs> Here is the secret to the ghost photobomb prank. So big thanks to my buddy here. All you need is this inflatable dummy and you're gonna fix it to a pole. You need somebody to help you out with this. You need to be up on a balcony or something, somewhere where it can be raised up behind the person so that when you take the picture, a ghostly image appears and then it is quickly hidden from behind them. So when they turn around, there's nothing there. It'll freak out anybody who sees the picture. You see this creepy shadowy figure behind them. Oh, he's down. He's a shadow of his former self. <laughs> Ooh. Stay tuned for the end of the video if you want to win this inflatable dummy. I'm giving it away to one lucky person. Really cool trick to show you with this glass bottle. I've got a little ghost balloon here. See him? So check this out. We set the bottle down on the table. I've got some magic liquid down inside the bottle. All you have to do is kind of like turn the balloon up or upright. Just like grab it from the top and kind of pull it up. Let's see this happen. Look. <laughs> It's a good pop. Okay. Look. It's a growing ghost. Isn't that really cool? It plates like that. Mm -hmm. You want to know how it's done? I think I already know. You think you know? Yeah. I'm going to teach you anyway, right now. This is a classic, super easy to do, and super fun to do with kids. All you need is some baking soda and some white vinegar, a bottle, and a balloon. And draw a little ghost face on the balloon to make it Halloween themed. This is your classic scientific chemical reaction between baking soda and white vinegar. So you start out by filling the bottle with some of the white vinegar. Take some of the baking soda and put it down inside the balloon. Once you have the balloon filled with baking soda, you're going to take the top and stretch it over the bottle neck. But be careful not to turn it all the way upright yet, because that will dump the baking soda into the vinegar. So once you've got this done, that's the entire setup. You're ready to present this to an audience. All you have to do is hold the balloon upright. The baking soda will fall into the vinegar and start a reaction. As the baking soda reacts with the vinegar, it releases carbon dioxide gas, which is what causes the balloon to inflate, making our ghost appear as if he's magically growing. You can see we've got some Halloween decorations up in the house here, but it seems like we accidentally have one on the ground. We've got a little ghost decoration down there on the floor. Watch, I can use some magic. Here's how to create a floating ghost illusion for Halloween. You need a white balloon inflated. You also need a white silk scarf or a similar piece of fabric. And the last thing you're going to need is a magician's best friend. This is invisible thread. This is a tiny, super thin thread that is almost invisible to the naked eye. Probably can't even see it on camera. It's running right across my hand there. We're gonna attach one end of our invisible thread to the top of our balloon. Tape it in place. Now you're going to take the other end of the invisible thread and attach it to your hand. Now you're gonna use your other hand like a pulley system to make the balloon rise off the floor. Poke a small hole in your silk so that you can run the invisible thread through it and put it on top of the balloon. Now when you pull your hands apart, the thread works like a pulley and the balloon ghost begins to rise off the floor, magically levitating up to your hand. The real metal sword, watch. And the sword goes right through your neck. <laughs> Okay, as promised, here is the secret to the sword through the neck trick. 
Yeah, I still have no idea how it's done. <laughs> so we showed you the performance of this trick in last week's How To Magic Halloween okay. episode, and this is the secret to that trick. Have your magic sword here. Most of the trick's secret is found in this sword. The sword actually bends just like this. You can oh. see the sword is not like a solid sword. It's really similar to the sword through the finger trick that we sell at MNRTV.com. Where it goes through the little bracket and out the other side. It works yeah. exactly like that, just a kind of a bigger version. So you can see there's a little slot right here that the sword slides into and it actually goes around this bracket and out the front side. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it slides right through the brace just like this and it looks like the sword is going right through her neck. This trick is actually super easy to do and it's one of the first tricks I ever saw as a kid. Stay tuned for the end of the video for a special giveaway. Alright guys that is it for this video. If you liked it be sure to hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone who you think might like it too. Be sure to check out EvanEraTV.com for all the new amazing Halloween tricks. That is our online magic shop. The link for that is in the description of this video at EvanEraTV.com. Com. We ship magic tricks and pranks and merch all over the world. So no matter where you are, get some magic shipped to your door. When you place an order on EvanAreTV.com, you are directly supporting us in making more magic videos like this. And it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how-to magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Be sure to check the description of this video for instructions on how to claim your prize. Be sure to check out our entire playlist of Halloween magic videos. We've made four other Halloween videos this season already. So be sure to check those out if you haven't seen them already. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys, and happy Halloween.